Today I'll be talking about holsters for single action revolvers. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. This video comes as an answer to many questions I've received over the last few years on where I get holsters for my cap and ball revolvers and other single action revolvers. So I've just pulled out some of them here today that I want to show and talk about where I got them. And I'll show some guns that go in them even though you could use similarly sized guns as well. And I'm going to start with what I would consider my least favorite holsters and work my way up to my favorite holsters. So starting out. I uh, have holsters like these two. These are both uh, eBay purchases, and I believe they come from the company Historical Emporium, but uh, don't quote me on that. Just check on eBay if you're interested. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've bought these. And I would consider these in the lesser favorite. This is a cross draw holster, so it would be worn over on this side for a right-handed shooter. Has a hammer loop that can pull out and back with these leather straps. What I don't like about it, let me put a gun in here. Here's an 1861 Navy that should fit in there all right. The holster is very rigid, although somewhat adjustable. And by adjustable, what I mean is you can adjust how tight it is by the fact that there's a metal liner in it. So if I squeeze it, it will open up a bit and stay there for a bigger gun. Or I can pinch that metal down and make it obviously very, very thin. It's a little wobbly to wear. Uh, it's a wobbly. You can see how loose it is. I would say it's not really practical. Uh, you know, Not that I recommend carrying a single action revolver nowadays if you can find something better, but I wouldn't say it's very practical because it does move around a lot. But maybe you're dressing in costume for an event that's Old West themed. It might work okay for that. And they're only about 30 to $35. This is more or less the same thing, but in a straight up and down model. It has the same metal in it that I can squeeze to make different sizes. Uh, very, very loose. This goes over a standard gun belt, but you can see here I had to wrap some leather strap around it just to get it to stay because otherwise when you draw the gun, the belt just slides all the way down this and it, it's really, really floppy. So again, not really practical, but you know, maybe you're dressing as a character or something. Uh, in a reenactment or something like that and it, it would work okay for looks I think. This one I would say is a little bit of a step better. Uh, another eBay find. I don't remember the seller on it and it's not necessarily entirely authentic but it's better quality and the loop on it has a nice little strap here although it is screwed together and I have had one of those screws come out on me before so Watch out for that, maybe Loctite them if you do something like this. But at least it keeps it from moving up when you draw the gun. And I bought this for the Walker revolver, and at the time it was one of the only holsters I could find made specifically to the Walker. I will say that it does fit well, and I just noticed we do have a maker's mark on here, although very, very hard to read. I'll put a picture of it on the screen for you. It looks like it says Peacemaker... Uh, leather, I believe is what it says. Again, check out that picture on the screen. The hammer loop it's got there, also adjustable for tightness with a strap. So this is okay. That's a decent holster. I've, I've used it before to wear around. Let's take a look at some others. This is one that I like a little better. Another eBay find. <laughs> As you can tell, eBay is a place you can find some holsters. And I bought this for the Single Action Army revolver and I think the look of this holster is fantastic at least in my opinion tighten down the hammer strap on it there and I just really like the design on that however another holster that is not really practical again very loose back here and when I draw this gun again if my belt is in here whole holster wants to come up and kind of pull out of its own loop like that so again very decorative I, I really really wanted to love this holster but I'll just say I like the holster, mainly just for the looks of it. Now let's move on to some holsters that I love, all from the same maker and a friend of mine, and his name is Duke Frazier, and there's always a link to his channel down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. And I will also put his email address down there in case you'd like to contact him about a holster. This one is what he calls the Hell on Wheels uh, Bohannon holster. If you've watched the TV series uh, Hell on Wheels, 
the character Bohannon, this is the holster that he wears for his Griswold and Gunnison. I actually don't have the Griswold and Gunnison out here, but I'll put a 61 Navy in it. It's a very good snug fit. No hammer loop, but really no need for one. It holds very well. The barrel protrudes just like it does in the television uh, series. And it has the big wide flap like the one in the series. And it fits on my gun belt. And I just have a standard uh, belt that I wear. It's got some loops on it, 45 caliber. And when I put this on and wear it, it fits perfectly. When I draw my gun, it doesn't try to climb up at all. Just very, very good quality work from my friend Duke Frazier. And uh, the next one that I'll show you is also one of his. And this is called a civilian half flap holster and I got this one in brown I really liked that and I got this specifically for the Navy revolver so let's grab that 61 Navy again works for a 51 Navy too goes right in like that perfect fit I mean just outstanding craftsmanship on this thing and really good attention to detail of the gun and then it has the half flap design you can tuck right in there like that sort of works like a, a hammer loop keeps it even more snug and just, I mean, can't say enough about the quality of Duke's work. I really, really like that holster. Very secure, but then when you take the flap off, you can draw your gun with a good tug. So that is another excellent one. And finally, what I might consider my very favorite holster, even though it might look a little plain uh, compared to some of the others. And this is one that I ordered from Duke, Frazier again. Uh, this one here, he's got his nice maker's mark on here. Duke Frazier, Maker Fowler, Colorado. Very good stitching, just like on the other ones. And I bought this for two guns. I bought this for my Walker revolver and also my Dragoon third model revolver. And with the Dragoon, which I have right down here, it goes into the holster. Very nice, perfect fit. And the barrel fits just about flush to the bottom of the holster. But with the Walker, let me show you the fit on that and why I love this holster so much. Well, as the Walker goes in, you see the barrel protrude out the bottom. Now, some people may not like that, but other people may recognize exactly where I've seen this holster before. This is an exact replica of the holster worn by the character Augustus McRae in the miniseries Lonesome Dove, which I happen to love except that I ordered it in black because my belt is black, my boots are black, I wear a lot of black stuff when I dress up in Old West gear. So I did, wanted to get it, uh, did want to get it in black, but otherwise it is a great replica. It is cross draw, just like Gus's holster. And again, just fantastic work. I cannot say enough good about the work Duke Frazier does. And so that's where I recommend that you look for a holster. And again, look down in the description for Duke's email. I will put that down there and there's always a link to his channel in every video description. Uh, great guy to work with, uh, just very, very good quality. These others that I showed you, you know, from eBay and, and things like that, they're very, very affordable. I will warn you, Duke's holsters are not the cheapest on the market, but a lot of us don't want to wear the cheapest stuff. If you are on a, a tight budget, I get it. I've definitely been there uh, myself uh, for a lot of my life and had to go for more budget-friendly things. But these holsters that Duke makes, if you want authentic, Duke does a great job of using patterns that are from the time period that the revolvers that we like are from. And again, just outstanding quality. How many times have I said the word quality <laughs> in this video? But it just is. I, it really, really is great stuff. Well, I hope this helped you out a little bit on where you can find holsters for your guns. Uh, this is what I like now is the Duke Frazier stuff, and I'll probably be ordering more of them, I'm sure. Please don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. And if you look in the description, again, you'll find Duke's email address, where to find me on social media, and where to find great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.